In order to move any body part, a human being needs resistance, something to push against. The golfer only has resistance with the ground through their feet. For Jonathan to move his knees, he will also have to move his feet. For him to turn his hips, both his knees and feet will have to move, automatically supporting the hip turn. For Jonathan to turn his chest, his entire body with the exception of his arms and hands are now moving to support his chest. The first swing comprises the entire body with the exception of his arms and hands. The second swing system is the arms which must be swung at the same time as he turns his body. Unfortunately, swinging the arms up will not automatically hinge the wrists, meaning that there is a third system, the wrists. These swing systems are all you need to create your own perfect golf swing. It is also important to understand their individual jobs. As you learn each swing system, you will also learn its job in the golf swing. Imagine a child's swing, which also incorporates three systems. The tree, the swing, and the child. The tree's job is to hold the swing, not to swing it. The body's job is exactly the same. Many of the mistakes the amateur golfer makes are as a direct result of the body trying to swing the arms. Without a stable body, your golf swing will be like a ship in a storm.